You wrote a song for the Los Lobotomies record. Dismemberment. <laughs> How did you come up with that song? I was being considered for a Miles Davis gig to, to play with Miles Davis. Vince Wilburn called me up and says, hey man, Miles, you know, I, I think Miles is, you know, needs a percussionist. Put together a cassette, you know, of some songs and bring it out to his house in Malibu. And I was like, you know, I never do that. But I figured for Miles, I want that gig, so. I put together about three or four songs that I, that I recorded. And I waited a little while and I didn't hear anything. We always had gatherings in our houses, especially my place. Anyway, we're hanging, you know, the Miles Davis thing came up and it says, oh yeah, Miles, yeah, he's got a percussionist. And I was like, oh no. So I was just so disappointed and angry. I had an idea for a song. That's where dismemberment came from, was my anger for not being uh, picked for Miles' band. So I called the song Dismemberment. <laughs> and you and I wrote it together. Yeah, we wrote it together. Right you, you, you had the basic part of the song all mapped out, the bass line. The bass line, yeah. Actually, it was born from a, a thing that Weather Report did with Al Foster, you know. That song, Mysterious Traveler, yeah. I think. Of. So my song, Dismember Me, came from a little bit of that and a little bit of some earlier miles when he was in the psychedelic days. Because when mm -hmm. you wrote it, you had, we, I remember you being adamant about the drums were going to be like, da, da, da. Mm -hmm. you had like the drum beat. Yeah, it was already established. You actually played the drum part on the record. Yeah. But people don't know that. And uh, I think if you look in the video, you see Jeff is playing percussion. He's up there at the congas and stuff. Right. <laughs> fiddling around. He was always up there. Whenever I would be playing drums, he'd grab a tambourine and dance around. The other thing about, about this member was the bass line. It was not an easy bass line. <laughs> you needed to have a bass player that was really good. It wasn't for the squeamish. Uh -huh. Then you put the... Uh, and then you put the chords on it, which yeah. was like perfect. You know, that became a, a kind of a popular thing for guys to play around town. Oh, it's guys a were, classic. Yeah, you know, I would get. The, hey, man, we played your song, man. It's kicking. In '94, when we did the tour with the quartet with Luke and Pena and uh, Simon, uh, we would play Dismemberment for 45 minutes. Really? And we, we'd, everybody would solo. Everybody would trade. It would go on forever. I think there was one recording of it really? at a lightning it's, speed. Oh. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I wanted to, you know, write something that could be interpreted by whoever played it. It had certain things that needed to be there, like you said, the bass part and, and the drum part, you know. But after that, I mean, it was just take it where you wanted to go, yeah. you know.